Our champion, Caleb Scherer, is in the sideboard with Nick Miller for a little interview time. So congratulations to him. And gentlemen, please take as much time as you need. Hello, welcome to the sideboard one last time here at the StarCityGames.com Season 4 Invitational in Las Vegas. I am Nick Miller alongside your champion, Caleb Shear. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Take the trophy. You have earned it, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, we, this is this We is just have surreal. a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> last year, Season 4 Invitational, mm -hmm. Seattle. Caleb Shear makes the top, top eight. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, well, who is this guy? We don't know who this guy is. He hasn't played much. You make the top four. Put your name on the map. I talk to you, we start figuring out, yeah. I'm going to start going to all the Opens, I want to make the Players' Championship. Yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, we start following you, who is this guy, who is this guy? You make a pretty good start at the Indianapolis Legacy mm -hmm. Open with Storm, which you usually do, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you start grinding, you start grinding. <laughs> and now, you get to the Season 4 Invitational, you can't make it on points, even though you just had an incredible run, you know, at the Jersey Open, you took 10th mm -hmm. in Denver, you came yeah. here, you had a way to make it to the Players' Championship. Yep. You made the top eight after starting three and three. If you won or if Joe Lissette won and you made top four, you made it. Joe lost his quarterfinals. Yeah. You won. It was all on you. Talk about your run through that top eight. Oh, man. Um, so basically, you know, I spent all of last night just jamming the top, like my quarters match up because I'm like, okay, Joe, I have that outside chance with Joe, so this is, just, this is just it. And jammed all the Jess guy I could, had a few board plans in mind. I actually paid off. Um, and you know, took that down in five, and pretty much at that point, it was just, oh man, and get to the a terrible matchup, of course, mm -hmm. with uh, um, four rally. Color rally. And, oh yeah, four color rally is just, you know, I'm like, okay, so, you know, maybe I can hope for the best and get, you know, kind of lucky in game five to just manage to take him down, and then uh, in the finals here, it was all or nothing against VD, and just after everything. It's just, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, we were looking at the players' yeah. championship, you know, mm -hmm. potentials, how you could make it. Yeah. And then, of course, you start out three and mm -hmm. three. Yeah. Oh. Back against the wall, we were like, well, we thought, you know, Hawkins, we thought Caleb, yeah. maybe Chris Anderson could mm -hmm. make it. We almost counted you out. Then you just won out the rest of day two. Mm -hmm. And we started following you a little bit more day mm -hmm. two. Oh, he won this. You won four rounds of standard. You beat yeah. Rally yesterday yes. in mm -hmm. standard as well with your mm -hmm. back against the wall. Then Affinity took you all the way. Mm-hmm. How were you feeling day one around round seven? Uh, basically, at round seven, I literally told myself, well, okay, there's two more rounds today, eight more tomorrow, and three in the top eight, so I guess I have to win 13 in a row. Maybe I get to draw the last round. Like, a lot of, like for myself, I always count the last round I'll probably have to play, mm -hmm. since actually in every PIQ almost, I've had to play at X1, so it's just like, well, that's an order. <laughs> so I went to bed being like, you know, okay, that's a lot, but, you know, so, and I'm in Vegas, I've actually had, like, the best year of my life, you know, just grinding the circuit, I've met the most amazing people, all of you guys, it's awesome, and, you know, and then it's just here, and I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> You're a math guy, of course. Yes. <laughs> what did you think your percentages were? After round six? Yeah. <laughs> I was probably, I was looking at my, I'm playing Battle of Wits, and I have a one-outer, so. <laughs> <laughs> so not very yeah, good. Yeah, not good. <laughs> Well, everyone, everyone was pulling for you. Joe Lissette, yeah. you know, he was upset he couldn't, you know, help yeah. you out and get yeah. there. But, you know, you caught some lucky breaks, mm -hmm. you know, when you needed to, but you also played really well. You had some great decks. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to see in the Players' Championship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we know what you're going to be playing in Legacy. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be a secret. I'm... But the other two <laughs> decks, you know, still mm -hmm. might be up for grabs. Yeah. Are you well, ready for it? Oh, I mean... What's pretty awesome is, hey, Legacy is my thing, and this was Modern Standard, which is also one thing coming in. I was like, I don't get to play with my baby, which has pretty much carried me this whole way through. Yeah. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, we'll see what I, what I do in the next three days. Gotta, I mean, unfortunately, I have to go back and finish up <laughs> the semester for two days and then come back and play Test More Magic. It's just the best. All right. Well, we'll yeah. see you there. Congratulations, Congratulations Thanks. Thanks so much. I'm going to send it back to the booth with Patrick and Cedric yeah. one last time here in oh. Vegas. Yeah.